I remember an odd statement that someone made about Alabama a few years back that's lodged in my brain. In Alabama, he said, if they like you, they'll tell you. If they don't like you, they leave you alone. Well, this is a story about someone who is liked, very well liked, and was told so. You may remember Nelson Easterling from a story I told last fall. Nelson runs Star Shoe Shine in the Mobile Airport, and Nelson's had a tough year. He lost his oldest son in January, which is awful. I heard about it and sunk down into deep despair for this good man. More recently, he's picked up odd jobs to carry him through the lean summer months when business travelers give way to the vacationing travelers who don't wear leather shoes for Nelson to shine. So in early May, Nelson was at the top of a tall ladder working on some siding on a house, and he fell. The fall messed him up pretty badly. He's been unable to work since then, and his doctors don't want him back shining shoes until July. When I learned what happened, I spoke to Nelson on the phone, and I asked him what I could do. Oh, I'm all right, Cam. I'll be fine, he said. Typical of him. I pressed some more in his reply. When I get back to work, I'll need all your shoes so I can start earning some money again. Again, typical of Nelson. So I contacted a mutual friend of Nelson's and mine, and we set up a GoFundMe account with what I thought was an ambitious goal of $7,500 to help Nelson with his lost income and maybe some of his medical expenses. He'd need more, but this, we thought, would be reasonable and helpful. And my friend and I turned this over to this GoFundMe campaign over to social media and let social media do what social media does best. And it was amazing to watch what happened when the news started to spread. People who knew Nelson, now briefed on what had happened to him, took the bit in their teeth, pushed the campaign forward, and spread it more. The campaign exploded and continues to do so. Some strangers have donated and added a note saying, I don't even know this man, but I've heard about him from my traveling friends, and I just want to help out. It's amazing. It's heartwarming. Don't let anyone tell you this world is a bad place, or that nothing good happens, or there's little to be hopeful for. It's simply not true. People are good. People are very good. And it takes people like Nelson and his friends far and wide who react like champions in times of his need to remind us of this. I'm shocked and proud and humbled and amazed to report that donations have, as of this moment, topped our goal by about $4,000 in only eight days, well beyond what I thought was possible. Nelson is liked. He's deeply liked. And people are telling him. People are good. I'm Cam Marston, and I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of my Keeping It Real commentaries, enter Keeping It Real with Cam Marston into your Facebook search bar, or search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston at your favorite podcast site.